November 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words, To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride and the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because the opportunity has given America to show her simply peace and justice in the Council of the Nations. The original concept of the celebration was for a day observed parades and public meetings and a brief suspension of business beginning at 11 a.m. An act approved May 13, 1938, May 11th of November in each year a legal holiday, a day to be dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be thereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. Armistice Day was primarily a day set aside to honor the veterans of World War I. But in 1954, after World War II, required the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen in the nation's history. After American forces had fought aggression in Korea, the 83rd Congress of the Urging of the Veterans Service Organization amended the Act of 19, 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserting in its place the word veterans. With the approval of the legislation on June 1, 1954, November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. Thank you, Terry. At this time, we are going to hear from our great orchestra, and they will be playing the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Saw the real heroes, the ones who put everything on the line for their country and 
families. True veterans. If you ever find yourself wondering what a veteran is, they are mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, teachers, and next door neighbors. They don't volunteer and fight for recognition. They do it freely and unselfishly. Part of the oath of enlistment and re-enlistment is, I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies born and domestic. So this Veterans Day, if you know someone who is a veteran, take some time to thank them and maybe even ask them about their experiences. In closing, don't ever forget, we live in the land of the free because of the brave. Coast Guards, 
We all do it for one reason only, is the love and passion for our country. In closing, I have asked you to do me one special favor. Just remember five words. Thank you for your service. If you see somebody in uniform, thank them. If you see somebody that is not in uniform, but you know that they're a veteran, thank them. Because I'm sure that you've seen a lot of old people walking around with one of these hats on. And if you see somebody with one of these hats on, and yes, this is my hat, and I don't know if you guys can see it, it says retired, not expired. That's me. But if you see me around, or anybody else around with these retired Army hats, just remember those five words. Thank you for your service. Thank you.
and we pray um, as veterans that you all all find the great things about our nation and hold on to those things and know that together, all of our imperfect parts of us together make this great nation that gives us the freedoms to be able to practice religion the way we choose, to be able to choose our identity, to be able to um, share our political beliefs, and they may not be the same as everyone else, but that's what makes America the great country that it is, is that we can all have our own individual ideas, beliefs, and practice our own traditions. Not everyone has that opportunity. We are truly blessed to live in America. And with that, we thank all of our veterans. We even have some veterans back here. Mr. Brown, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we will um, be sharing with you on um, the program who our school um, alumni and staff are as veterans. And so when you get a chance today on Veterans Day, November 11th, be sure and thank a veteran um, in your community, in your family, or in our school. Again, thank you for your service. Thank you for your attention to our program today. And thank you for being part of this great nation as students and families and individuals. Thank you very much.